Hi, I'm Ben. And here's another thing. Okay, I just did my video for... I don't want AT&T to shut down DC Comics. Well, I want to talk about Marvel for a second. Inhumans. So, I heard the Miss Marvel Disney Plus series. She's going to be, as I quote, have Green Lantern-like powers. Instead of being an inhuman, having elastic powers. Yeah, because I'm... Because... I thought, like, they should make an Inhumans movie, because I heard about Internals, and I was very disappointed what happened to Inhumans, and I thought, because the TV show sucked. I never saw the TV show. I tried to stay away from the TV show. I saw the Blockbuster Buster review of it. Like, there's this YouTube video channel called Erod. He's the Blockbuster Buster, and I watched his review of it, and... That's, that's literally the closest thing to watching it. Like, I never saw the entire series. And I heard the series was created by Scott Buck, who did the Iron Fist show. And, look, I don't know Scott Buck, so he's probably a nice person in real life. I don't know. But I don't like that he tries to do things that are out there, like superpowers, people on the moon, or, like, glowing Iron Fist and dragon. But... But he doesn't show the costumes. Like, you can find practical ways to do the costumes, but he's like, let's do Grounded in Reality. And, because the costumes for Inhumans and Iron Fist are like, don't, don't even look like them. Like, Black Bolt doesn't have his mask. I'm like, what? And I really wanted to like Inhumans, not the TV show, like the comics. And I wanted to get the X-Men vs. Inhumans comics, because I like the concept. I'm like, because when I, I remember watching reruns of the 90s Fantastic Four cartoon, and I'm like, Inhumans? Like, there were, like, the Inhumans, for those of you who don't know what Inhumans are, they were created by the Kree Empire, the, you know, the Captain Marvel people, the blue aliens from Captain Marvel and Guardians of the Galaxy. They created these race of humans with superpowers to be, like, calling them Inhumans, and there's, like, a royal family on the moon. Yeah. And I really thought they should make an Inhumans movie and retcon the TV series and make the TV series non-canon. Like, like I know they said the TV show is set in the MCU, but they should like do something to make it non-canon. Because I heard they didn't even cross over with the Agents of Shield, and Miss Marvel could have been an opportunity to make the that TV show non-canon. But I heard that they're gonna just give her Green Lantern power, like. Green Lantern-like powers, something like Green Lantern powers, but anyways, and then, but, yeah, then I heard, like, she's probably not going to be Inhuman, but speaking of which, X-Men vs. Inhumans, I bought that comic because I thought, yeah, we can explore, like, what's the difference between an Inhuman and a mutant, and how, like, oh my gosh, like, so there's Inhumans, and then there's mutants, like, I kind of wanted to see that concept. But this is what I've heard. Apparently, Inhumans were going to kill off the X-Men and just replace them with the Inhumans because due to the copyrights with 20th Century Fox. Yeah, like I said in my AT&T review, uh, I, I, there's just, there's people who don't care about the fan base. It's just their job. They're just big business. And that's what I hate about big business. They don't have the heart. It's just, they just think like robots. They're like, we own this, and we're robots, blah, blah, blah. Blah. But yeah, they don't, they don't care about... But yeah, they were gonna literally kill off... I text this to my sister, and she's like, why would they think that was such a good idea? That's not a good idea. Like, X-Men, say what you want about some of the movies, like Dark Phoenix, or whatever, but, but X-Men has such a fan base, and, they, and to literally kill them off and replace them with these Inhumans that, like, I kind of like the Inhumans, but not killing off the X-Men, and, like, that's like, imagine, and they just have one TV show, and, like, the Inhumans only did crossovers with animated cartoons, like Spider-Man, or Fantastic Four, and not have their own standalone show, and, and they only had one show, and it was crap. Forgive my potty language. Like, that's like, imagine... Like, imagine Spider-Man. We love Spider-Man. 
and with all the movies, but due to copyrights with Sony, they killed off Spider-Man and placed him with this character that only had one TV show, and it was garbage. Like, who would want that? Like, Spider-Man's an icon, and to replace him with some crap doesn't give us the right. But, yeah, and then I heard, what's the Inhuman comics doing? But I heard they killed off the Inhumans. Like, I think Black Bull's still alive, and I'm what? And it has a negative review on Comic Book Roundup. For those of you who don't know what Comic Book Roundup is, it's like Metacritic, but with comic books. But, anywho, anywho, yeah, to just kill off the X, to just kill off Inhumans, like, they're like, yeah, you try to kill off the X-Men, well, we're killing you guys off. Well, they're still making X-Men comics, I think. I think I have some here. But yeah, like, uh, like I try watching, like, more explaining on the Inhumans comics, but they're like, but yeah, I mean, to kill off the Inhumans in the comics, like, like, they're really retconning the comics. Like, this was Jack Kirby's and Stanley's creation. And to, I, and to just kill them off, I guess it's probably doing it too. The hatred with the show and everything but to just say let's kill them off but you know it's comic books still find a way to wreck on it or resurrect them it's comic books still find weird ways to resurrect them but yeah the miss marvel show yeah like they're, she's gonna get green lantern like powers like not green lantern powers but green lantern like powers and to just not let her be an inhuman and I don't know, like, like, a lot of people hate the Inhumans because of the whole trying to replace the X-Men and the TV show was garbage, but I don't know, because I wanted to like the Inhumans, like, not the TV show, but other concepts, like, I feel like I'm the, you know when you see someone being hated, but you see one person in the audience liking them, that's what I feel like. I'm not saying that I'm not supporting the Inhuman, like, as I was just talking about, I'm clearly not supporting them to, to replace the, with the X-Men, like, replace the X-Men with the Inhumans. No, I just like them as their own characters. Ugh. But, yeah, I mean, literally killed the Inhumans off and now trying to kill off the X-Men, like, Wolverine's like the most iconic Marvel character ever. And to just try to kill him off, like, not excusable. Well, but imagine, like, I know a lot of people don't like the Inhumans, but imagine if the Avengers or the Guardians of the Galaxy, like, if they mentioned they made a TV show that was crap, and they're like, kill off the Avengers, kill off the Guardians of the Galaxy, because their show was crap, and they tried to replace them with these guys. No. But I'm glad Fantastic Four is bad, because due to the copyrights with Fox, like, there's this, I know a lot of people don't want Disney to own Fox, but there's a side of me that's glad because they fixed the X-Men rights, and I do like some of the Marvel stuff, the Fantastic Four, like, Fantastic Four, in 2018, Fantastic Four came back in the comics, and I was really excited, and I wanted to pick the issue up. But, yeah, to replace, but, yeah. And, what was I going to say? And, the Inhumans. But yeah, like, d sorry, there's a sign of me that's glad that Disney owns Fox. I know people don't want Disney to own Fox, but there's a sign of me that's glad because they have most of the Marvel rights now, and all the Marvel shows are on Disney+, Plus, which was owned by Fox. And I kind of like watching all these Fox movies on Disney Plus, they're really easier to watch and find in shows and movies. Like, I know it's weird to see them on a Disney property, but still. Well, that's my... Well, that's my video on that, so... Oh, I'm gonna do another video, and it's probably gonna be Godzilla vs. Kong.